because in our recommendations we want to be as practical as possible as we think through this problem. Senator May. Yes, thank you, Chair, for the opportunity. I'm, I'm going back to the doctor at the back who talked about uh, the scripture uh, in Judges about uh, Gideon, the mighty man of Bala. Uh, you note from the scripture the reference was uh, Gideon, the mighty man of Allah. Uh, in your document, and why I'm raising this is once again because it's televised and the purpose of the committee is to get solutions uh, so that we don't have another shakahola and we ease off anything that uh, could lead the congregation towards wrong direction in following bad doctrine. Uh, do you uh, as the Prophet of Wall's Church, uh, Ministry of Repentance and Holiness, do you subscribe to the doctrine of Jesus being the mightiest of all prophets? One. Two, do you subscribe to the fact that even in the scripture, Gideon is referred to as the mighty man of Allah, not the mightiest? Because the minute you use, the minute you use mightiest, it creates a perception that he holds a position high up there that no other human being holds. That is where it starts to go off if the congregation takes it in that direction. Anything given then cannot be questioned. And third question, congregations in churches. What is the level of empowerment? And this goes across the board even to uh, GM, to the ACK, to the Pentecostal, all the churches and religious organizations. What is the level of empowerment of the congregation? At what point do we allow them in churches to start questioning the doctrine officially, especially if the structures are wanting? At what point does a congregant who is a professional, like my brother here, who is a colleague, at what point does your being a lawyer or being a doctor or being an engineer or being a, or being a professional in that church help in maintaining a sober society within a sober community within that spiritual context that it can, they can, members can point out that a doctrine is going wrong and somebody listens and it's considered and reviews are done? Uh, Council, I'll give you, or you want to pass it to somebody else? Thank you. Um, sure. There's the overseer there whose hand is up. Oh, yeah. Or can help you? Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Chair. My name is John Nitunda, the Archbishop in this Ministry of Repentance and Holiness. Quite a lot has been spoken here. And I'm very happy, first, um, Honorable Chair, that as the most senior most house and the policy makers in this country, you put this committee in place. Because what happened in uh, Shakabola is very shocking. And that is why we are here today. I know quite a bit has been spoken here by the judge, that is Minister of Repentance and Holiness. Miracles are there, authentic. But I wanted just to say something about Shakabola. It's unbelievable and very shocking that this thing happened in this country of Kenya. I was in the administration before. When Honorable Chair, I was a DC even in your own county, if I remember very well. Chair, are the questions being answered? I have asked specifics. Oh, there are questions. Oh, Honorable Chair, please. Yes, I, they I, subscribe I thought, to the I doctor. thought you were answering the question. No, I missed out on the question. Ah, okay. Then. Honorable Chair, Maybe, questions. Honorable Chair, Wait. as an advocate, I think I would be in a position to, ask, to answer the question. You have some of the questions answered. Yes. Okay. If, 
Uh, yes. That's why I gave you, but you are the hesitating. Aspect, no, I don't no, no. know why you are hesitating. Because I saw the Archbishop's hands up. We will give him, uh, I will give him closing the remarks maybe Thank later you. on, but just answer the question. As to the question of uh, whether one should have a theological certificate, my thought as an advocate is that it should be left to an umbrella body. Why is it so? Because different churches are at different levels. And certain uh, churches do not even have theological schools. And yet, there are a section of uh, this community, Kenya, the larger group that believe that they have their uh, spiritual solutions in those pastors. So therefore, it's a matter that if we have umbrella bodies, then the umbrella bodies would be able to cut out what is suitable for their congregants. And as have already been spoken here before, that we have miracles, not courtesy of theological certificates. Not only miracles, but people come to church for solutions, different solutions, if it is marriage, if it is uh, rain, yeah, or yeah. whichever. Yeah, the council also is not helping. Yeah, Katso, are, you are, are you answering the question? I don't know whether you wrote so down the question. The doctrine of yeah. doctrine. Jesus being the mightiest prophet, yes. that needs yeah. a specific yes. answer. Yes, please. Yes. I I'll, 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 I'll answer that, sorry. Uh, I'll answer that and I'll also pass it, it on. Hit the yes, point. Immediately. Hit the point. Uh, a prophet is a human being. Jesus is God. In my understanding, it is in reference to human being anointing. And therefore, yes, we can have mighty prophet, mighty whatever, depending on whether the people who have conviction that yes, he has a solution uh, to that. But we don't, avoid, don't avoid the question cancel. I asked about not mighty. I have distinguished mighty and mightiest. I asked about mightiest. Thank you. you Mr. Chair, allow, 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 allow me to give it to allow me to give it to the overse the general overseer to Chair. respond to it. Please, Chairman. Yes, uh, the, the general overseer. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Uh, we have three questions here. Question number one it's about uh, Jesus Christ, as the Honorable Senator has said. Jesus Christ is the most highest. You cannot compare to him. He remains there. Number two, uh, about Gideon, the mighty man of valor. When Gideon met God, he was just alone. And when he was alone there, then... Uh, he was addressed as the mighty man of Bela. When prophet uh, Dr. War, in his encounter with God, he told us, okay, I met the Lord, and the Lord addressed me as the mightiest, mightiest prophet, as the mightiest prophet, yes. So when he came to us, then so, we so, wait so, to uh, see what are Honorable the fruits sorry, 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 sorry. Don't, uh, that matches don't, with don't that? Don't talk over me. I'm the chair. Oh, yes, please. So just, I'm uh, sorry for that. Yeah, uh, I was just going to guide that uh, you, you don't... Uh, it's not acceptable in the rules of this house to quote someone and say he said, he said, he said, especially making those assertions. <laughs> You will be inviting me to ask Owar to come here. Do you want me to do that so that we can put him on oath and question him? Do you want me to do that? No, please. So don't go that way. Thank you very Stick much. Stick to the rules. Huh? Thank you, Honorable Chair. As I said, uh, uh, I'm in charge of doctrine. And whatever looks not proper, I'm in charge. So... Uh, if there is anything to be rectified, will be rectified. But, as I said, uh, we go on looking at the fruit. Does this match with the name or the title? Then the last one that uh, uh, Senator asked, 
uh, there, there are AGM meetings and disciplinary committees. Yes. If there is anything wrong, then during the AGM, the council can ask and question. We are doing this, but we are not seeing if it's in order. Then it is handled. So I think the three questions I can sure. donate to Jawan okay. just to uh, say something in a minute. Let me, let me give Bishop Wanjiro. Thank you. So that, uh, we, we don't have. Uh,